we will distinguish between angular and linear momentum. In physics, linear momentum is defined as the product of mass and velocity. For example, if we have a 1000 kg of car and that car is moving with a velocity of 10 meter per second, then the momentum of the car will be P is equal to mv, where P is the momentum, m is the mass and v is the velocity of the car. Substituting the values for mass of the car, velocity of the car and solving, we will get 10,000 kilogram meter per second. So the momentum of the car will be 10,000 kilogram meter per second. The unit of momentum is kilogram meter per second. For a many body system, the total momentum will be equal to the sum of all the momentums. For example, if we have a many body system, then the total momentum will be equal to the sum of all the momentums. Momentum of particle 1, momentum of particle 2 and so on. So for many body system, the momentum P, linear momentum P is equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 and so on which is equal to sum of i, mi and vi. i is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Keep in mind momentum is a vector quantity and the direction of linear momentum is the direction of this velocity v. Now what is angular momentum? Angular momentum is the rotational equivalent of linear momentum. Let's derive the equation for angular momentum from the linear momentum. We know that linear momentum is P is equal to mv and we know that angular velocity is related to linear velocity by the relation v is equal to r cross omega where v is the linear velocity r is the radius and omega is the angular velocity. Substituting the value for velocity v in this equation we will get p is equal to mr omega and this mr is known as moment of inertia and is denoted by i so we have momentum is equal to i omega and this is known as angular momentum so we have angular momentum l is equal to i omega the angular momentum is denoted by l where the linear momentum is denoted by p or in other terms we have angular momentum is equal to r cross p r times p p is linear momentum r is the radius and l is the angular momentum Both angular momentum and linear momentum have the same unit kilogram meter per second and both have the same dimension of m l t power minus 1. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe easy video for more videos. Thank you.